De La Saya Day is a strong contender on the list of top five infectious smiles. The former beauty pageant contestant, actor and influencer identifies as a foodie and manages an event company on the side. Hello, my name is Della Sade, a former beauty queen of Miss Africa Calabar, Miss Malaika, I'm an actress, and so many other things. So I'm here to answer your 50 questions. Let's get right into it. This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favorite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Pave Studios for the guest of the day. What drives your inspiration or motivation in life? So many things, but I think the, the best one for me is um, the urge to do more, to, to leave this world a better place. I mean, you, it sounds cliche, but it's actually how, how everybody's supposed to live their lives, to leave this world a better place than they came to meet it the impact that you have on people, the mark that you leave in wherever you, in whatever you do and wherever you find yourself. So yeah, that is my inspiration in life, to leave this world a better place than I came to meet it. Um, when is the album or single coming? Um, in 2025. Will you marry me? Um, no. Have you eaten? Yes. Actually, I have. Describe how you delivered your kiss scene in public figure. <laughs> um, which of them? I mean, I... It was awkward. People will think it's... People will think it's like, hey, you're kissing in a movie, it's fun. No, it's not fun. It was quite awkward, but because it's acting, you have to put yourself into the character and lose yourself and do whatever you are supposed to do to make the character come alive. So yeah, that is what I did. Um, hello, Della. My question is, after your first travel experience, how has it helped you in your travels afterwards? And what sort, and what sort of advice will you give the first time travelers? Um, if you want to travel more, you need to keep an open mind. You can't leave your country with the same mentality that you live here with. Um, when it comes to your taste buds, you need to be very adventurous. When it comes to um, how you see people's attitude and behavior and how people respond to those things, you need to also open your mind because you can't um, go to China and say you want to eat kinky and shit or any taste it like how it is in Ghana. Maybe you find some there, but you won't really find it like how you you want to. So yeah, you need to be adventurous and open-minded. How do you feel after acting the movie, Kitty Girl Them Sugar? Oh, Sugar, the movie. You are so beautiful in the movie and with your amazing dimples. Okay, so thank you. And how do I feel? That was like my very first professional movie that I did. So yeah, I played I played Ifia Adiapena, Kitty's girlfriend that he left. Yeah, ungrateful. So yeah, it, it felt I don't know how it felt. I don't remember because it was a long time ago. But I actually liked it because it has opened me up to more opportunities. I didn't really think I didn't really think I wanted to do acting seriously. But after that, I realized that. Well, I had it in me, so let's let's do this. What was the first movie you starred in? Yeah, Sugar. That's like the first official Sugar, the movie with Giddy. How was the Malaika journey? Amazing? No, um, okay, yeah. It was amazing, it was eye-opening, it was... It was... It was... Hmm. Yeah, it was eye-opening. It was eye-opening. What devotional guide do you use? I use um, I use my Bible app. It has a devotional in it. That's it's called the Bible, and then I use um, oh, 
it's not it's not a, it's not a devotional it's called god fashions so it is like confessions that you you say every day and it has different different confessions in there so like for a month you have like 30 31 depends and you can use i can recommend other ones to you too you can dm me if you want to are you dating what do you think why is Bella a kind person you have to be kind it's not that hard is it you have to be kind you don't know what someone is going through so anybody you meet smile at a person be nice yes when did you start your christian journey at what points did you decide to take your god serious man i was born into it yeah i was born into it my mom is a pastor and i love god i mean she didn't have to force me she didn't have to force me because i found myself in a christian home and i've seen what god can do and i've seen how marvelous and wonderful his works are yeah how did you establish your brand and how long did the process take you um first of all my i don't really think my brand is established but if you think it's established thank you but i feel it is more of dress the way you want to be addressed so whatever you want to attract you put yourself in that position and you are able to attract those things so that is more like branding what are people saying about you when they hear your name what what comes into mind how do you think you want people to see you that is how you and it's it's a long process it doesn't end it's, it's an unending journey have you considered comedy as a career in addition to acting and please aside acting what do you do am i that funny <laughs> i haven't okay so i've got i've gotten a few people asking me whether i've considered comedy but i keep asking myself am i that funny if i am able to answer that i'll i'll, I'll strike i'll try comedy and aside acting i do so many things i'm in i'm still in school i <clears throat> I have I have an online business. I I have an event company with my sister, and also I co co partner with my friend. We do coconut milk. We sell coconut milk because yes, I'm lactose intolerant. So yeah, business is all about solving problems of the society. So that is one problem that I've tried to solve. How do you stand by your faith in this generation? You just have to know that this world you wrestle not against flesh and blood you are fighting with people who don't even know what they want from you so what do you want to do do you want to just walk physically around without looking at the spiritual side of life or you just want to live on vibes and inshallah so what to you why are you this humble and nice oh i don't know but i think it's so it's a, it's a human nature that's how it's supposed to be we never see your boyfriend before who are you who are you hiding him from vultures i'm hiding my boyfriend from vultures <laughs> um are you single asking for a friend please please tell a friend to come and ask me with his chest wonder who gave you the car the president who hey now you the president to be harassing you and he won't give you a car by you also um mention five groceries that aren't exactly a necessity on your shopping list yeah eat everything though. okay milk cow milk i would rather buy like other other milks um mukamu pembo for some credit what is grocery Cereal before milk or milk before cereal? Bro, I just want to eat conflicts. Do you shout, bra mate, a waha, or you just wait for someone to say it first? Please, you don't want the driver to take me away. Please, bra, bra mate. I don't miss a bra mate, a Hey. Let's say you are driving and a trucker driver shouts, hey, who's your car going? What's the best response you give him? <laughs> and you're on our trail, mate. Okay, that's my response. My greatest fear. Um, 
that I wouldn't really be able to accomplish whatever I have been positioned on this in, in, on, in this world to do. My purpose, that I wouldn't fulfill my purpose. It's, I think it should, I don't think it should be everybody's fear, but I think that is one thing that you should be focused on. Aside that, I have been able to conquer every, I don't have fears, I've been able to conquer all of them. No fears, aside flying cockroaches. How much do you eat in a day? Money-wise or like quantity-wise? If it's money-wise, I like to cook. If it's quantity-wise, I, I eat in portions. I can eat one king k four times a day. Like one, small, small, small. So yeah, I don't eat much. I really like to talk about food though. Is your serious boyfriend ready to fight? He's a boxer, man. Are you really married? No. Um, when are we getting married? You and when am I getting to know you? You know me already. Are we not friends on Twitter? Did you face any challenges in Malaika? If yes, how did you go about them? Challenges. I saw it as part of the competition. I didn't really see them as challenges. I saw them, I saw it as part of the journey. So it's more like, like I said earlier on, it was eye opening for me. I was able to learn more from the other ladies. I, yeah. And I was able to learn how to coexist with other people as well from different backgrounds. Very important. Do you audition for movies or the producers call you? The producers will call you to audition it's like that. I, I, I for once never liked audition. I never. So if you, if there's like a random audition, it's like, hey, you're looking for three, hey, you're looking for 20, 20 years to 25 years. You won't see me there because me, I don't like coming to sit in queues and when you finish, they don't even call you. Me, I, I don't like those things. I fear rejection. I hate rejection. Is SNM your twin? Cause you look so much alike. No, she's my big sister and she is like, we are three years apart. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? It's not for me to tell, honestly. But I'm trying my best not to be exactly where I am now. Better, 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 even better. Um, is there any way for governments to avoid power corrupting its politicians? If so, how? If not, what part of human nature makes corruption unavoidable? Greed. Greed makes corruption unavoidable. <clears throat> and is there any way for government to avoid power corrupting its politicians? Go government that is not responsible for the human attitude or the human side of their appointees. But I feel like in choosing these people, they should look at that part as well because in public administration, integrity and um, uh, how do you call it? Oh, for lack of a better word, uh, not being biased should be part of the criteria in choosing leaders. Now, if the, if this leader doesn't have an, doesn't have integrity, you should know how the economy is going to go. Like that. Do you want EMAS difficult type or CRS difficult type? I never did any of them, but I know that CRS is very difficult because I hate history. What am I coming to do with 1900? Someone died, and so. Why does society place such, high, such a high value on beauty when it serves no functional purpose? Oh boy. Hey, aesthetics. If, please, please, don't get me started. Do you know what people have gotten because they are beautiful? Some of us, we wish. Um, well, you've been on some pageants and done splendidly well. You do modeling gigs, act, etc. What is the end game for you? What's your dream job? At what point do you think you're going to be like, I've worked hard enough, let me just sit back and enjoy the fruit of my labor? Um, at what point? The, the kind of dream I have, right? I can't think about quitting. Like, I can't think about when I want to stop, but I know that with the kind of work that I'm putting in right now, I should give myself, I, mean, I want to be relevant even in the next 70 to five years if I'm still here. So um, that will still be work for me. Are you really from Nogoko? No, I'm not, but I have some relatives over there, so like maybe yeah, technically I'm from there. What do you what do you intend to do to help others? 
I'm already helping others in my very small way. Um, people around me, the fact that maybe I don't post it or the fact that I don't seek for social media validation by posting it doesn't mean that I'm not helping anybody. I'm doing whatever I can in my very small way to help the people around me because if you don't help the people around you and you you start helping those outside it's more like you are seeking for validation um do you care for a date this question should have been in my dm so no you are so beautiful and perfect i don't even know what to ask <laughs> i'm blushing what makes you unique i think it is my ability to coexist with just anybody everybody at any given time be open to them and accept them for who they are and just live like that with them having an open mind and listening i yeah it's more of people centered i'm a more i'm more of a people centered person i think that's what's unique about me um Please, did you attend Ketasco and you look familiar, Bisa? No, I didn't attend Ketasco. I attended Ketabusco. So yes, those are the 50 questions. I think I answered more than 50. Thank you so much for asking me these fun questions. Next time, make sure you ask me very challenging ones, the one that will make me sweat. In case you are wondering what I'm wearing, it was put together by Nala Mlekuto. You should check out Sida Coco Ghana on Instagram and Black Kev on Instagram as well. And just see the amazing things that we are doing. Please like, subscribe, and follow Pave Network on all social media handles. They got something, something, something very juicy coming your way. Stay tuned.